let's now talk about aws local zones we'll first understand that what specific use cases local zones solve and then we'll see how to use these local zones right let's consider the situation that if we have regions across us we i'm just depicting two regions here one is here oregon and then another one is north virginia one in east coast one on west coast and now i would have my users who are trying to access my application let's say i hosted my application somewhere in northern virginia and the users are coming from central us and they are trying to access my services so obviously that is still within one country and still within one geographical area but chances are that there would be little latency they would be facing and on this northern virginia location i am running my compute based services which are doing some processing maybe hosting some databases so my users when access these services they may be getting around 15 millisecond of latency right what we could do we could leverage a local zone which are connected to a region but probably near to my users and now i could host some services i won't say all services are available but some compute related services some databases we could host into local zone and now my users could access these services directly from my local zone and obviously that would mean they have less latency for accessing these applications now similarly i could have local zones across us and those can be served by a region local zones are not independent they still connect to a region through aws backbone and then they would be serving some services from themselves and for other services they would lean on to aws region directly so this is the main idea of it and aws has started initially one or two local zone but now there are many in not just us but in other parts of the world also mostly you will find out that these local zones are placed in the cities which are either a business hub or a technical hub or there is a lot of business population or let let's say a lot of uh, business activities happening like if i give you an example new york is a local zone obviously there is a lot of of businesses happening there business and finance transaction then los angeles somewhere here that is a local zone that is nearby to hollywood so probably some processing which needs to be done on a very fast way which need does not need to have higher latency we could have hosted those application here los angeles is near to hollywood so probably those film production systems can be hosted here and it would be giving them less latency to access those systems so that is the main idea let's talk a little bit more on the local zone before we go into the console so local zone is a type of infrastructure that places core services compute storage and databases and other select services close to larger cities it is not having all the services but most common services which may be susceptible to latency may be placed inside these locations right what else local zones are an extension of a region there is a parent region they do not exist in isolation they are located close to large population industry and it centers what it is doing it connects to a parent region via amazon's redundant and high bandwidth network what we call global network giving application running on local zone access to the rest of aws services so some component of my application can run in local zone and for remaining component it may leverage the region which is which is the parent for this particular local zone and that's how my users would start accessing these services right let's go ahead into console and see this into action now this are not directly placed inside re inside ui what you have to do first in that ui you have to first go to ec2 service and that is where you would be able to find that up so i am going to ec2 as a service and here i should be able to find local zone related data so here i am on ec2 dashboard and if you look and the right side there is a setting which is called zones i am currently northern virginia region and if i 
figure out if there are local zones associated or not i would go into the zone section so see these are zones these are hosted here as some these are listed here as local zones and below that if you keep on scrolling you would find your traditional availability zone so there are six availability zone in northern virginia region and apart from that there are number of local zones and if you see they are they are regarded as us east one atlanta dash one a currently it is disabled that is the default setting for any local zone and as you could see these are the major cities like atlanta boston maybe not just cities maybe a country which is nearby like argentina then there is a city chicago dallas houston lima in peru and then uh then us kansas city miami these are all mostly business hub or that is where they need lot of processing power and that's why they have hosted local zones there not every region may have local zone let's explore that so let's say i come to ohio as a region now let's see if there are any local zones associated with ohio or not and obviously this list will keep on increasing so currently if you see there is nothing here like here switch to region with obviously this this account has a restriction on what can be displayed but there doesn't seem to be a local zone available here so i would go to northern virginia and that is where i am seeing those local zones if you have to get started with them you have to go with the management of that and you have to first enable these local zones and then you would be able to host services inside them they are still same ec2 machine or rds databases or the storage services you are using like ebs volume but they may be priced differently because they are running on a very specialized infrastructure so service and the api call you make the script you run the automation documentation you create they all remain the same but the charges associated with them may be little differently formulated so just be aware about it so i don't expect every application would have a use case to use local zones but if your applications are latency latency sensitive you need to have single milli digit millisecond latency for accessing application then probably local zone is a good choice and that would also require you to see if local zones are available there or not so if i go ahead and look for aws global infrastructure you should be able to find details of local zones here let's go in that and you would find that in which places there are local zones available so enable local zone expand your vpc to aws local zone it would start showing as like a way to create a subnet in that and once you can create a subnet in that you would be able to host your application like ec2 machine or rds databases and then you build and run your low latency application in the aws local zones this is what the local zones are right now if i'm looking for locations of local zones there is a list so here are some of them generally announced and if you could see there is expanding very fast this has been announced and probably they would be starting up soon as you could see there are a huge huge number of local zones available not only on one single place or one country but across the globe they are mushrooming up so that you could have use these like even in european cities like netherlands even in india bangalore australia colombia these are all the places where local zones are uh, being announced and they would be there in case somebody wants to use local zones in some other places they have use case they could also request interest for additional location and depending on other factors like how many requests received or maybe some other mathemat some other business calculation aws may announce local zone interest in those area so very specific infrastructure you run the similar type of services in local zone what you run into a region but with a different pricing and maybe some limitation i don't expect even if i say that i am able to run ec2 machines on a local zone i don't expect that they would be offering you all the type of instance which are available into a region so subset of services would be available first enable them create a subnet expand your vpc to uh, to go into that uh, local zone and afterward keep hosting your resources there so i hope this is clear i'll talk to you about other type of spatial infrastructure into next section thank you